we are going to figure out the exact value for sine of pi over 12. And of course, it would be a good idea to work with degrees, right? So let's go ahead and take pi over 12, which is in radius for now. We will just need to multiply by 180 degrees over pi. So you see, this and that will cancel. And when you reduce that, you end up with 15. And this will be in degrees. In another word, this is the same as asking, what's the exact value for sine of 15 degrees? However, we don't know about this right away, right? And now we have to utilize either the angle sum formula or the angle difference formula for the sine. Well, what's the thing about what plus what will be 15? Well, sometimes what minus what will be 15? Look at 15. We know about 30 is a special angle, right? And also 45 is a special angle. And we know 45 minus 30 is 15, right? So I can write this as sine. And in this case, we are using a difference formula. Let me put this down as 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. 45 degrees minus 30 degrees is, of course, 15 degrees. And we know how to work with 45 degrees, and then we also know how to work with 30 degrees much better, isn't it? And you may also notice that we could have used 60 minus 45, which is still 15. And yes, that's still possible. But I put this down already, so we'll continue from here, all right? Anyway, now we are just going to be utilizing the difference formula for the sine, right? Which it says we will have sine of the first angle, which is the 45 degrees, times cosine of the second, which is the 30 degrees right here. And then we will have to minus cosine of the first, which is the 45 right here, times sine of the second, which is the 30 degrees right here. And now, we will be able to figure this out individually, right? And just for a quick review purpose, let me put down the 45 degrees and also 30 degrees on the side for you guys. So first of all, 45 degrees, you know it's right here. This is the special triangle, and you have to know the ratio of the sides is going to be 1, 1, and square root of 2, right? And we are also looking for 30 degrees, so let's put down this right here. This is 30 degrees, 90, and then of course that will be 60, right? And once again, the ratio of the sides. This right here will be 1. This right here will be square root of 3, and this right here will be 2, okay? And now, sine of 45 degrees. Look at this triangle. This is the angle. Sine is the opposite over hypotenuse, right? In another word, 1 over square root of 2. Rationalize the denominator. Sine of 45 degrees is the same as square root of 2 over 2, right? After you rationalize 1 over square root of 2, you get that. And then sine, I mean cosine of 30, <laughs> you look at this right here. Cosine uh, is adjacent, which is square root 3, over hypotenuse, which is 2. So you multiply this by square root 3 over 2. And then minus cosine of 45, so once again, look at this triangle. It's adjacent, which is 1, over hypotenuse, which is square root 2. Rationalize the denominator, you get square root 2 over 2 times sine of 30, look at this triangle, opposite is 1, hypotenuse is 2, that is 1 over 2, like this. And now, let's do the computation. When you are multiplying square root numbers, yes, you can just multiply the inside and the inside together. So this times that is just going to be square root of 6. And then, of course, we are multiplying the denominators together as well, so we have over 4. And then minus square root of 2 times 1 is just square root of 2. And then 2 times 2 is, of course, once again, 4, right? And this is pretty good because they have the same denominator already. So if we can put them together, as over 4. And then we'll combine terms if possible on the top, right? But be sure, when you're adding or subtracting square root numbers, they must be like radicals. Well, this is square root of 6, and this is square root of 2. They are different. I cannot do anything anymore. Do not just do 6 minus 2. Don't do that, okay? It's not correct. Anyway, let me just put this down as square root of 6 and then minus square root of 2. And in fact, this right here will be the result. This is the exact value for sine of pi over 12 
Namely, sine of 15 degrees. That's it.